Yeah, it's uh, John G. Sutton here. Tales from the Jails. I'm going to talk today about the execution of uh, a female uh, called Edith Thompson. She was hung at Holloway Prison in 1923. The hangman was James Ellis. I've previously discussed James Ellis. He was uh, the executioner for Great Britain, who now haunts strange ways. He uh, committed suicide. He slashed his throat. Following shortly following the uh, the hanging of Edith Thompson. I'll show you a photograph of Edith Thompson. She seemed to have been a beautiful young lady. You can see this. That is Edith Thompson. She was. There we go, banging the mic again. She was 29 years of age. This is Holloway Prison where she was executed. You can see this. Yeah. Not a very good picture, but there we go. Holloway Prison, yeah. She was executed uh, in Holloway and she was a married woman who had an affair with a much younger man and it was the younger man that murdered her husband, stabbed him to death. Her boyfriend, the, the younger man, was subsequently hung on the same day hung on the same day at uh, Pentonville and as I said the the hangman was James Ellis I'm gonna try and see if I can get you an image of James Ellis from, from my uh, collection on here yeah if I can find this I'll show you James Ellis the the hangman BMW here we go it's, this should be it Oh, there we are. My name is James Ellis. I was the national hangman for the United Kingdom. Many executions undertaken, hanging people by the neck until they were dead. I committed suicide. Now I am the official ghost of Strange Ways Prison, Manchester. That's James Morning. Ellis. That's James Ellis. And uh, I have seen his ghost at Strange Ways Prison. And he was the hangman that hung uh, Edith Thompson. The terrible thing about the hanging was that she was. Uh, that Edith Thompson had, uh, was pleading innocent, you see. She said, I hadn't killed anybody. And she hadn't. But she was judged by the prejudices of the day because it was shortly after the end of World War One. many widowed ladies out there and Edith Thompson looked to be having too much fun actually uh, she had a nice house she had money she had a husband and she had a 20 year old lover and uh, it was the prejudice of the day that believed that she was bringing the fair sex into disrepute. And uh, apparently the, the Home Secretary of the day received numerous letters from the public thanking him for not commuting her sentence. She was uh, taken to the gallows under sedation strapped into a into the noose with her heart, arms and legs tied and James Ellis executed her but when he when she dropped she had a, a massive internal hemorrhage because people believe that she may have been pregnant and uh, the discharge came out of her vagina 
all splattered all over the floor as she, as she was effectively partially disemboweled. This so affected James Ellis, the hangman, that within a year he committed suicide and slashed his own throat. He now walks the landings of strange ways. Seriously, I've seen him. Yeah. The ghost. Wears a, a hat. A very dark suit and carries a, a little bag with all the accoutrements of the hangman in there. It's just a little story of one horrible hanging. Edith Thompson. Apparently, somebody on here has uh, sent me details that uh, every year at the anniversary of her execution, there is uh, a gathering to remember her because obviously she hadn't killed anybody. She hadn't arranged for her husband to be killed and she didn't know that her 20-year-old lover was going to, uh, to do this and he'd stabbed her husband to death. Crazy thing to do. Don't forget to have a look at my uh, TikTok channel. I'll tell you what I have got here on my TikTok channel. I've got uh, an image of some of the staff that worked at Strange Ways when I was at Strange Ways. Let me just see if I can get some something up there. Yeah, here we go. Just a second here. They get this. Here we go. No, 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 no. Not that. No, don't want that. Not that. It's just not so. Just give me a second. But it's on Name. TikTok. How do you do that? I'm yeah, It's on TikTok, yeah. And the name to just search Jailer John. It's not Tales from the Jails. It's Jailer John on, on TikTok, yeah. This is. Uh, Fat Fred. That's Fat Fred. Fred. This is the chief officer who didn't like me very much at all. Quite a few of them on there. Got Norman on there. Norman Brown, the governor. He's on my TikTok channel. Jailer John is the name. I'm now going to uh, talk to you all a little bit. You can't say you've not been warned. This is John G. Sutton warning you all with a song dinger. Yes, I'm going to. I'm going to shoot this song. Yeah. yeah. You you like uh, cowboy songs? I mean, this is a cowboy song. This you see. This is a cowboy song, and I've got one of them cowboy guns here to go with it. Yeah, can you see that? You dirty rat, reach for the sky. This is a showdown here. You know, my mule does not find it amusing. I like that that one. Yeah, anyway, I've got a replica gun there. It's fire as pellets, actually. Perfectly lawful. So here we go. Stand by for action. Hey, I've warned you. Final warning there, just in case Larry hasn't heard. 
and I'll be out charging across the Yorkshire Moors now in the sludge and the mud because it's been raining up there hasn't it it's been raining here actually raining quite heavily as well here we go this is the streets of Laredo and I believe that Johnny Cash sang it so I'll use a Johnny Cash voice if you would like that to do it hey let me wear my hat yeah I'll put my hat on there we go you got that now as I walked out in the streets of Laredo, as I walked out on Laredo one day, I spied a young cowboy all wrapped in white linen, wrapped in white linen, as cold as the clay. I can see by your outfit that you are a cowboy these words he did say as i boldly walked by come and sit down beside me and hear my sad story i'm shot in the breast and i know i must die it was once in the saddle I used to go dashing. Once in the saddle I used to go gay. First to the card house, then down to roses. But I'm shot in the breast and I'm dying today. Get six jolly cowboys to carry my coffin. Six dance hall maidens to bear up my pall. Throw bunches of roses all over my coffin. Roses to deaden the clods as they fall. Then beat the drum slowly. Play the fife lowly, play the dead march as you carry me along. Take me to the green valley, there lay the sod o'er me. I'm a young cowboy, and I know I've done wrong. Then go write a letter to my grey-haired mother. And tell her the cowboy that she loved has gone. But please not one word of the man who had killed me. Don't mention his name, and his name will pass on. When this he had spoken, the hot sun was setting. The streets of Laredo grew cold as the clay. We took the young cowboy down to the green valley, and there stands his marker we made to this day. We beat the drum slowly and played the fife lowly, played the dead march as we carried him along. Down in the green valley, there lay the sod o'er him. He was a young cowboy, and he said he'd done wrong. There you go, the streets of Laredo. This is Tales from the Jails, John G. Sutton. Hey, don't forget to buy my book.